Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a uh, one-box break of 2018 Upper Deck Infinity War. Hobby box number one. A uh, one-box number seven, that is. It's a random pack break. Plus, a Hit Parade graded comic is included in this, too. This is uh, Infinity War edition right here. All right, this is box 15 of 20. So big thanks to all of these folks right there for getting into it. So we'll randomize your names. We'll match you up with the pack or the hit parade. All right, and then we'll see who gets what. After, let's roll the dice. Three and a one, four times. One, two, three, and a one, four times. Mark Irons down to Thomas. And actually, before I randomize the other bits here, let's pop open this box. Let's number those packs. So now let's go back to this page right here. And let's randomize that three and a one four times. One, two, three, and a one four times. So pack eight down to pack nine. And here we go. Mark Irons, pack eight and three. Thomas with one, seven, two, five, six, the comic book, and nine. Jacqueline, you have pack four. Now, traditionally, we would do these alphabetically. Oh, that actually works. So, Jacqueline, we're going to do uh, your packs, your pack first. Mark will do your two packs. And then Thomas will do the rest of your packs. And then we'll do the comic book last. Save the best for last. All right, so Jacqueline with pack. Let's actually print out these, print out these labels. Make it a little bit easier. And we'll pop another one of these into the store as well. I think it's an appropriate time to chase some of the hits for this. All the Avengersing happening around. I still haven't seen it yet. I'm sure the crowds will die down in a week, and then I'll go. Maybe it won't. I don't know. It's making a zillion dollars. All right, so that's printing out. here too. All right. All right, here we go. So Jacqueline, pack four is first, which is right over here. Good luck. There could be hits in here too. Film cells, autographs, etc., etc. And the Guardians here. Rocket and Groot. Power Stone die cut. Well, 
Wow, Gilo, you went to a 9 a.m. showing of Avengers and it was full? Dang. And there's Road to Infinity War right here as well. There you go, Jacqueline. All right. All right, Mark Irons, you got a couple packs. Eight and three. Pack eight and three. Eight is right here. And three is right there. So I, I like the way these uh, they built these cards here. This Road to Infinity War, Winter Soldier, and there's Spider-Man. Got Hulk, Hulkin. There's another one of these here. And there's Road to Infinity War. And I like these comic panels here that they turn into these chrome cards from the old comics back in the day. So there you go, Mark Irons. Thank you. I, I did not see Endgame yet. I'm hoping to wait for the crowds to die down, but Gilo is just like, I went to a 9 a.m. showing and it was full. I feel like all the theaters here that have uh, like assigned seating, all those are still full, I think. Or mostly full. Otherwise, I have to like stand in line. All right, Thomas. Rest of the packs are yours. We'll save the comic book to last. So let's see what we got here. Good luck. You can still get a hit out of here with all these packs. I wouldn't say I'm not really like a super fan of this, so I can, I'm, I'm okay to wait. But I'm looking forward to it. It's, this is an enjoyable series. 9 a.m. on a Sunday? People, people skipping church? Skipping church and going to, going to Endgame? Wow, Monday at noon and it was full? Man, people aren't working? I like the they, they attach the die cut onto that acetate, which I think is a pretty pretty sick design. Not too many of these are, are, are serial numbered, but Ray saying downtown Boston, seven thirty, Sunday, movie was full. You got an autograph coming up. What do we got here? We've got nice. Karen Gillian. Karen Gillian as Nebula. That's pretty cool. So is Endgame supposed to be the last one? Or are there supposed to be more after Endgame? I have mixed feelings about like these about Avengers. Because I feel like it's like a I don't know, it's kinda like an all-star game. Right? Where you're like, yeah, it's cool to see all these stars together and playing. But, you know, it's, not, it's an all, still an all-star game, though. I don't know. I have mixed feelings about it. But they've done it so well. You know, like, the, they, they've, they've managed to give, to integrate all these characters pretty well. There's 
There's the time stone here. There you go, Thomas. Now, let's see. So it's a nice autograph. Cool film cell. Now, here's, here's the big one here, though. Let's see what we got out of here. It's going to be a graded comic in there. Good luck. So, yeah. It's, and so that, that's the other complicated thing, Ray. So Ray's saying Spider-Man Far From Home is the last movie of Marvel's phase two, but then what's phase, th what's phase three? Yeah, Disney said, yeah, of course, Disney's Jeremy asked saying Disney will have said as long as Marvel and Star Wars keep making money, they're going to keep making movies. Absolutely. But, you know, Robert Downey Jr. can't play Iron Man forever, so they're going to have to eventually, like, reboot and stuff like that. I guess it'll be – I don't know. We'll see. All right. What do we got here? We have Captain America. Nice. Return to Skull House, Captain America. There you go. Red Skull, cover and appearance, crossbones appearance. 1990. Nice, that's pretty cool. Got some additional information on the back right here. So there you go, Thomas. Nice, might as well take a look at this too, right? Oh man, does anyone remember that game? Demon Sword? All right, there you go, folks. A really cool break, I think. We, we've got some more of this, so check it out next time. It's, it's nice to do. This is like a nice little change of pace, too. So check out the next one on jazbeescasebreaks.com.